Welcome. This is a short video from Boomer Tech Adventures, which is going to show you how to insert a table into a Pages document on a Macintosh computer, whether it be a laptop or a desktop. Sometimes we like to insert information into a document that is very easy for the reader to see and understand. And the table is just what we need. So let's get started. I'm going to open my Pages document. I don't need that, so I'm going to go up here, New, and I'm going to choose a blank, Create. All right, now we're going to call this Activities. And you notice that the cursor is over here to the left, but I want it centered. So I'm coming down here over on the right to these choices, and I'm going to click on Centered. And I notice that uh, the size of my text is only an 11. That's too small. So let's put it up to a 16. And I'm going to call it Activities. All right. And return. Now, the first thing you need to remember when inserting a table is you really need to put your cursor exactly where you want the table to go. So if I were to insert the table right here, You see, it's right there, it's right under activities. I don't want it there. I want it elsewhere. So I'm going to delete that. And I am going to return several times. And I want the table to be in the center of the document. So once I have my cursor where I want it, then I go up to this top menu here and I'm going to click on table. And do you notice all these dots down here? That means I have several choices on what this table will look like. So here you see uh, relatively plain, maybe some gray, but I might choose a blue top row or green or red, a gold or a white. Let's go. I'm kind of in the green mood. And um, I think I want that. Okay. So as you look at it, you notice that I have four columns and five rows going on the horizontal. Now, hmm, I don't think I need four columns. So you see this circle here with the parallel lines? If I click on that, I get the choice by clicking on the downward arrow to make it just three. But if I wanted more columns, I could click on the upper facing arrow, but I just want the three. Okay, now, what if I need more rows? Well, then I would click here and I could add more rows or subtract rows. All right. Now, I'm going to put my labels up here. So when I click in this box, I'm not sure what that's going to look like. So I'm going to click up here in this little menu. See, it says Table, Cell, Text. I'm going to click on Text. And you see that the size is just a 10 point and it's not centered. Well, I want it centered and I want it bigger. And so I'm going to call this month. Notice it's centered. Now, if I click in the second column, you look over here again, you notice it still says it reverts to 10 point and not centered. So if I hold down my shift key and then click on column two and column three, they're combined and I can come over here and I can change the size of the font so it's the same and I can center it. So when I go then to tap in column two, activity, and then I click in the third column and I'm going to put the cost. 
right, so they're all centered. Now, notice it's in white. So if I highlight that, I can change the color if I want. Notice it's white here. So if I wanted it to stand out, I might make it purple so people could see immediately how much it's going to cost because that's often important to people. Or I could just leave it white. All right, so now I'm going to put in the information. So I click in the second row, left-hand column, but notice once again here we're at 10 and it's not centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that Shift key down and I've got that first cell highlighted and then I'm going to do down in the bottom right. So now I've highlighted all the cells and if I go up and uh, click on the text size I can adjust that and I can center it and now I won't have to keep going back and doing that. So, oh, we're going to start with January. And, uh, oh, let's do skiing. And the cost, it's going to be expensive for the day. So, uh, let's say $150. Clues, transportation, etc. Okay, next. Notice when I clicked again into that uh, cell on the left, I check over here, it's still 14 and it's still centered. So February, and February, oh, let's have a cribbage tournament. Because February weather can be lousy, we'll do it inside and much more reasonable, we'll make it Five dollars. All right, so I could continue. Now notice I only have six months and there are 12 months in a year. So I'm going to come down here to that circle with the parallel lines and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to add six more months. So now I've been able to establish how big my chart is going to be. I'm sorry, it's not a chart, it's a table. How big the table is going to be and I can figure out how it's going to fit into my document. But I want to show you one other cool thing. Let's see, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. All right, we're still at 14 and we're still centered so I'm going to put July. Now the cool thing about making a table is that you can add pictures. So over here, I want to add a picture, but I also want to have a word. So in order to do that, I need to go and adjust where it's, the text is going to go in. So I'm going to click here and make it so the text is on the left. And I'm going to put lake. Whoop, I don't need a period there. And now I want to add an image. So I'm going to come over on my desktop and I already have some images and I'm just going to drag this picture of the loon right in there. Now you can barely see that. So I'm going to hit return a couple of, I'm going to hit return a couple times and that way I can make the picture bigger so I can see it. And again then I can put the cost over here once again, it's still centered and it's still 14. And I uh, will make this a, oh, I don't know, $25 cost. So that's how you can insert a table into a document. Remember that you adjust the rows over here with the parallel lines. That makes sense, what goes across. And you can adjust the number of columns up here, parallel lines, but they're on the vertical, which makes sense because your rows are vertical. And you can choose the color of the text. You can choose the color of the bars up at the top. 
I notice here that I was going to make those all red, so I've clicked on it. I'm going to do that and that. And click over here once again so that I can make the color of the text different in different columns or different rows. So you ought to practice this and you find out that uh, sometimes you have to fool around a little bit, play around a little bit, because you'll forget some aspect. But remember, you can always come back to YouTube and watch this once again. This has been Boomer Tech Adventures. And just to remind you, I'm going to put in our logo. There we go. The Tech Adventures logo. I'll tap on that. And again, to, I have to go to Select All, Copy. I can delete that. And Command V. Ooh, I stuck it in. I stuck it in a cell because that's where my cursor is and that's a good thing to remember that wherever your cursor is that is where your ins your inserts are going to go so this has been boomer tech adventures showing you how to insert a table in a pages document have fun happy creating <laughs>